Hello guys, today we're going to be replacing the windshield cowl on my 2001 Golf. So here we have the cowl itself and this part here, this cover is what you remove to replace your cabin air filter. It goes underneath here. Um, so that is a separate piece and there's your part number for that. And then for the windshield cowl, the part number is on the side of the box right here. They call it a deflector. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, we'll need to remove the wiper arms and to do that we'll have to pop these plastic caps off the top of each wiper arm to expose the uh, nut that holds the arm on. Um, hopefully we won't have any difficulty getting these arms off. Sometimes they like to seize onto the linkage itself. So we'll have to go ahead and pop these caps off maybe spray them up with some penetrant and we'll proceed. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is pop this plastic cap off. Get yourself a small little screwdriver. There's actually a slot right here underneath here. So if you stick it under there and lift up gently, the cap will slowly come off like that. Um, be careful not to lose these and that exposes your nut. So now we can go ahead and uh, loosen that nut. Okay, this is a 13 millimeter. Um, before you take the wiper arms off, you might want to mark them on the windshield so you can tell where they're at. Um, some people put a piece of tape there. Uh, whatever you want to do, my windshield's dirty right now so I can tell where the wipers uh, go at. So when I go to reinstall, I'll know where to put them. Same thing for the other side. I'm going to go ahead and spray these up and let that soak in there a little bit. I like to use this stuff right here, Aerocroil. Works pretty well. Spray the other side. Let that sit for a little bit and then we can try to wiggle that arm loose. Alright, let's go ahead and give this uh, wiper arm a try here. I'm going to lift the arm up and try to uh, lift up on it. Try to wiggle it a little bit back and forth. This doesn't work. Um, you can open the hood back up and get a hammer and pound on that stud just real lightly to try to shock it loose. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now because it's, it's not loosening. Okay, let's go ahead and try that now. There we go. All right, let's set this wiper on the side. Now we'll do the same thing for this one. Go ahead and try to lift this up now and see if it'll wiggle loose. Yeah, there it goes. Came right off of there. All right, now we can open the hood back up. And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, remove this rubber strip. Just keep working it the whole way across here. Just leave that sit there. And uh, this whole uh, cow piece is free. You can see it wiggling. So, um, but I'm going to have to take these screws out of here to remove this. I need these screws for the new one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now in case this might be in the way. Be careful not to lose these guys. Okay, 
Okay, set these aside. And I'm gonna remove this. This is a good time to inspect your cabin air filter and change it if you need to. I just replaced this one a while ago, or I'm sorry, not a while ago, uh, recently. That's why it looks nice and clean. So now we can maneuver this uh, cow piece out of here. And it just pulls right out, as you can see. Now mine is actually broken on this side and it was very, very annoying when I was going down the road this whole thing would vibrate against the windshield and that's why I decided to purchase a new one. So we go ahead and grab the new one and put it into place. Alright, so I got that into position and it doesn't take too long. Uh, you want to make sure that your pivot points for your wiper arm are sort of in the center there as best you can. Um, these ends tuck down in here like so. Okay. As you can see this end as well. Tuck down in there. This one does not have the clear window to see the VIN number. Um, I don't really care about that, but you can see the factory unit has the clear viewing window for the VIN number. So if that bothers you, I guess you could cut that part out. But I'm not going to do that. I'll just leave it go as is. So I'm going to take this piece um, and lift up on the cowl. And you slide this into position. Now this um, end piece, I'll show you this first. This end piece here, I have to get tucked in, tucked in underneath this plastic piece here. So uh, just uh, be aware of that. Try to set this up here for a better view maybe. All right. So you lift this up and slide this down into position. Okay, let's make sure the holes line up. There we go. So you can see what I mean as far as the plastic uh, piece there going underneath gets tucked under there. So now we can go ahead and um, install our four screws. You might have to wiggle this um, plastic piece up, up and down or left or right to try to uh, get these screws to start in their location. It's a good idea to uh, leave these screws loose until you can line up all 
four and then tighten them all up just in case you have to wiggle this thing around all right last one here okay i'm gonna go ahead and tighten each one of these up you don't have to go super duper tight it's just plastic it's not going to go anywhere All right, now we can install this rubber piece. This slides under there. Okay, got that all on. Now for the wiper arms. All right, we're gonna take our wiper arm and slowly uh, set it down on top of the pivot point on the linkage and line the wiper up with your mark on the windshield. And once you get it into correct position, then you can go ahead and uh, install your nut. And then after I get the nut on here, I will open the hood back up and tighten these down. And then put the caps on. Uh, before you install those plastic dust caps, I would uh, get the key and put it in, in the ignition, turn it on, and then run the wipers to make sure that they're in the correct position and they don't go too far and run off the windshield or go too far down here and actually hit the cow. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and see uh, how well I did. Okay, I have the wipers in operation right now. As you can see, nothing is hitting, everything looks pretty good. Same with the passenger side. So I say I'm good to go here, I can go ahead and put these dust caps back on. Okay, just simply push these dust caps back over that nut. Those are very important to keep the weather out. Uh, it helps uh, remove these arms a lot easier. When I first got this car, it did not have these dust caps and these wiper arms were stuck on here so badly I really had to beat these things off. But um, I got the dust caps and everything's been pretty good ever since. So um, the hardest part for you guys is probably going to be removing these wiper arms. Everything else is pretty much, you know, a simple install. So, but thanks for watching. I hope everything goes well for you guys. And feel free to ask any questions and comment below. Thanks. Take care.